you are interested in learning more about Blender 3D, then check out our Masterclass Introductory course, available over at our website, baileygraphics.com. This course is the perfect starting point for anyone beginning on their Blender journey, with over eight hours of content, all for absolutely free. So, if you're interested in starting your journey in learning how to use Blender, then check out the link in the video description. So let's say you have a scene where one object is the main focus and you want to have a light object track that main object wherever it is in the scene. We can do this by adding an object constraint to our light object. Now note that this method is only going to work with three of the four light types. So with the light object selected, we're going to come to the object data properties, which is going to look like a green light bulb if you have the correct object selected, and then choose your light type. Now this method does not work with the point light, but it does work with sun, spot and area. So we're going to choose an area light for this. And you can see we have this option to manipulate the direction of our area light. Now what we want to do is we want to change the behavior so that wherever we move our light, this line here is always going to be facing in the direction of our main object. So to do this, with our light selected, we're going to go to the Object Constraint Properties, add a constraint and select Track 2. You should just about see a blue dotted line here coming from our light. We're going to change this target value to our chosen object, which is going to be our Suzanne object in this scene. And you can see that straight away it snaps away from our object. That means we need to manipulate two values. We need to manipulate the to axis and the up axis. Now, even though it's set to Y and C, the correct value that I find in most scenarios here is to go minus C and then set the up value to Y. If you have these two settings, you should get the functionality to be able to move your light and always have it facing your selected objects that you are tracking the light to. Now this may not be the case for everyone, but I have found the multiple times that I have used the track two constraint for this method, I have always found that the correct values to be minus C and Y. But that's how we can track a object for our light source. Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next video.